one is loud. You went, why take a cat, right? Take a little mate. I didn't mean a little mate. I meant take a mate. Take someone who can help you. Bring something with them. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Yeah. So what are you saying? That I'm not going to bring anything to the party here? Just think how old all this stuff is. You'd soon get sick of it, though, wouldn't you? It's a town made for mermaids. You know what I mean? It's just hassle. Yeah, but if you lived here, it wouldn't be a hassle because it's part of your life and you realise when you want to get from there to there, you either jump on a gondola or you walk up to a bridge and cross. It's interesting how the human body was represented. The body hasn't changed, has it, from how it was then? It's just that they were probably more tan because they all, you know, walked about with the tackle out. It doesn't feel like a graveyard. It's just something a little bit more... No, it does. It does feel like no, a graveyard. it's more majestic somehow. Mad, isn't it? You think it's mad? I just want to remember them how they were. They want stuff in the basement. It's like a car showroom, the way they're all stacked up. I couldn't imagine this ever... Well, it wouldn't catch on. We wouldn't allow it at home. There's no way. You have to get permission to have a conservatory. I don't understand what's so odd. When you come to sell it, people are up there going, oh, this is nice. Oh, oh what's down here for storage? And you come in here, oh, there's Elsie, there's Auntie, Auntie Jean. What's that? Who owns that? Why is a dog so high up? I thought it was going to be all futuristic. Gadgets, robots, where are they? Looks like it itself, doesn't it? Maybe it has, I don't know how human it is. This is it. It's Dwarf Village. It's like this little town that they set up. Dwarves used to get out of time or something. So they set this up, place where they live and work. They've made it for themselves, everything they want. It's made for being a dwarf. It's ideal. But oh, they're all happy. Hello. Is that Warwick? Yeah. Hey, it's Carl. Ricky's mate. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, what are you up to? I'm looking at a, a dwarf village, and it's really good. The people in there are dead happy. Just thought, you know, it sort of covers me if I speak to you. And oh, well, I have heard of it definitely, but I don't think it's nice. Why not? Um, well, I mean, they're all in there together, and you're going in there to to gawp at them. Well, yeah, I did. And you know, there is like little blokes in little funny outfits and and all that, and you do sort of smile. But they're smiling. I think it's all right, isn't it? I think it's terrible, Carl. I can't believe it. You don't know who's, who's behind the scenes running that. Did you meet them? Yeah, there's a king. And he's he little? Of course he is. He was the head man. He was at the top, he had a little cloak on and a crown. You could tell he was in charge. Just want to look at the paintings and let it absorb you and figure out what's going on. A lot of nudity, isn't there? Yeah. But it's interesting that the males are represented, you know, and, and look good. But you look at the females, I don't think they look quite as good. Well, maybe women were just rougher then without luck but at the time was she good looking well look at it though it's it's getting us talking i mean it's provoking us which is what art's supposed to do isn't it maybe back then now it's just the brighten up a room